What is IP whitelisting and how does it work? Hey there! Welcome to this video where we'll be diving into the world of IP whitelisting. You may have come across this term before, but what exactly is IP whitelisting and how does it work? Stick around, and we'll uncover all the details. What is IP whitelisting? To begin, let's start with the basics. IP whitelisting is a security measure used to control access to a network, system, or service by creating a list of trusted IP addresses. It acts as a virtual bouncer, only allowing entry to the addresses on the whitelist while denying access to all others. How does IP whitelisting work? Now, let's explore how IP whitelisting actually works. The process can be broken down into a few key steps. Step 1. Identifying trusted IP addresses first. Trusted IP addresses need to be identified. These are the addresses that will be granted access. This could include IP addresses of known users, employees, partners, or specific devices that require access to the system. Step 2. Configuring the whitelist Once the trusted IP addresses are determined, they are added to a whitelist. The whitelist is a list of approved IP addresses that are allowed to connect to the network or service. This configuration is typically done within a firewall, network device, or application settings. Step 3. Restricting access with the whitelist in place, any incoming connection attempts are checked against the list. If the IP address matches an entry in the whitelist, access is granted. However, if the IP address is not on the list, the connection is denied, effectively blocking access to unauthorized users or devices. Step 4. Monitoring and maintenance IP whitelisting is not a one-time setup. It requires ongoing monitoring and maintenance. New trusted IP addresses may need to be added or existing ones removed or updated as necessary. Regular review of the whitelist ensures that access remains restricted to authorized entities. Benefits and Use Cases IP whitelisting offers several benefits and finds applications in various scenarios. Let's take a look at a few. Enhanced security by allowing access only to trusted IP addresses, IP whitelisting significantly enhances security. It acts as a barrier against unauthorized access attempts, protecting sensitive data, systems, or services. Protection against DDoS attacks IP whitelisting can be utilized to defend against distributed denial of service DDoS, attacks. By blocking all non-whitelisted IP addresses, it becomes more challenging for attackers to overwhelm a system with a flood of requests. Limiting access to specific networks or locations organizations often use IP whitelisting to restrict access to their resources from specific networks, such as a company's intranet. It can also be used to limit access to certain geographic locations, ensuring that only authorized users from specific regions can connect. Securing APIs and web applications IP whitelisting is commonly employed to secure APIs, application programming interfaces, and web applications. By allowing access only to trusted IP addresses, it adds an extra layer of protection against unauthorized API calls or malicious activities. That wraps up our exploration of IP whitelisting. We've covered the basics, understanding how it works, and its benefits and use cases. Remember, IP whitelisting is a powerful security measure that provides control over who can access a network or service. Thanks for watching, and we hope this video has shed light on the world of IP whitelisting.